Hello, welcome. Take a moment, minute to pause the video and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so the terminal side of an angle, so that means where the angle ends, um, it's in standard position. That means it starts at the x-axis. It intersects the unit circle at this point, negative one-third, negative root eight over three. And they wanna know, what is the value of the secant of theta? All right, so let's set this up. So let me show you a fairly, I think, uh, intuitive approach here. We have some circle, like a unit circle with a radius of one, and our point is in the third quadrant because both x and y are negative. And to get to that point, what do we have to do? We have to go back a third and then down negative eight over three. Now the secant of theta is one over the cosine. It's the reciprocal of the cosine. And the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, this side over the hypotenuse. So let's find the hypotenuse by using the Pythagorean theorem. We have negative one-third squared plus negative square root of eight over three squared. We're just squaring those two sides, and that'll equal h squared, the hypotenuse squared. Negative one-third squared is one-ninth, this square is to a positive as well, eight over nine, because this uh, square root of eight squared is uh, eight, and three squared is nine, and that equals nine over nine, uh, which equals one, which equals the hypotenuse squared. So the hypotenuse is one, but we should have known that because it's a unit circle, and the hypotenuse is always one. Now, if the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, it's negative one third. This is the cosine of theta over the hypotenuse one. The secant though is the reciprocal of the cosine, so it's negative three over one. That's the secant of theta, and that's our answer, choice one. All right, thanks.